Nicholas, back in the house, back in the house, for another video. I know it's him. Now, where do you think we are? Woof, woof. Yeah, you know where we are. So, we're back in Puppy Linux 8, Bionic. But this time, hardcore. Loads of cores. We've put it on a machine with loads and loads and loads of cores, so we can do basically anything we want within 300 megabytes from the installation. Okay. So we are using, as you can see here from my little conky, around about 700 will go up and down, maybe, now and again. But remember, Puppy basically runs in RAM, okay? So that's not a problem. But even if you only had two gigabytes of RAM, you're gonna be able to do this no problem. Remember, it's 64-bit as well, so no problem. I think there's still a 32-bit version, I'm not sure. I thought I'd give you a little look at what it's like on a machine that's basically modern, okay? And it is really, really fast. So we'll go to the menu and I'll show you just basically. If I go to enter document and I want to open up the office, off we go. It's got to load the SFS file into RAM, okay? Now I can do whatever I like. Once it's loaded once, it's not a problem. So if I close that down, you'll see what I mean. Go to menu again, document, leave office, it's done. Because it's still in RAM, okay? It's still in the RAM. I've loaded the SFS file. So you can basically do whatever you like to. It's so quick, it's unbelievable. What else can you do? Well, basically anything you want to. But I'd just like to show you how easy and useful it is to have even Puppy 8 Bionic on a USB key. Because you can just do anything you really want to. So on this installation, it's a full installation, by the way, on a one terabyte drive. Because so I thought I'd keep this as a backup number three. So yeah, I've started installing stuff. There's some bits that are missing, and I'm in the middle of trying to get Snap installed. Now, I know a lot of you don't like Snap, okay, or Snap the way it works. But in this situation, it would work really, really well, okay? Because OBS doesn't basically want to work too well, and you want to compile it yourself. I'm not going to do that on Puppy, okay? I've done all, all my compiler on Puppy was done years and years and years ago. Yeah, years and years ago. I don't want to do it anymore. I'm more of a user. Although I'll do it if I have to. Yeah, I'll do it if I have to. As you can see, under resources, under my CPUs, it tells you which CPU is working the hardest. And apparently, it's only 11%. No, that's not right. Oh, sorry, wrong conkey. The other conkey does that. Shall I go back to the other conkey? I'll change conkey for you and you can see what I mean. If I remember where I put it, that is. Desktop, conkey switcher. If I go to, I think it's this one down here. Is that the one? No, that's not the one, is it? It's a different one. I've lost it now. Is that the one? No, it might be no, 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 no. I can't find the conkey I want now. Might be, it might be this one, conkey grey. Uh, it could be. I don't know. I forgot what I was doing. Yes, I've installed conkey by default. The main programs I would use here, as you know, would be multimedia. So, Caden Life, all done. There's a few missing dependencies. One is the uh, Freer Zero R, which you will need if you want to do real, real proper video editing. OpenShot is missing some dependencies as well. This is why I want to get Snap installed. For a simple reason that I wouldn't have to bother doing this, okay? Uh, please bear in mind that Puppet Linux is a real small distribution, but it can be really, really good in some situations to get you out of trouble, if you know what I mean, okay? So what else have I got here? Let's have a look. I've actually forgot what I've been doing all after evening, should I say, not afternoon. And I've got to go out to work tomorrow. I've got some other jobs to do. You get the basic puppy stuff here, as you can see. I'm not going to do this too much for you because you know what puppy is, okay? So, Inkscape Light is here. See how fast it all opens. If I click on right, that's now LibreOffice. It used to be Abbey Word. But now it's all been over overwritten, so that's fine. What is Draw now? That is now LibreOffice Draw. Oh, I must tell you this. If you're in, using Linux at school or in an office environment and some things won't go over, if you put it into LibreOffice Draw, it will convert, no problem. Found that out, that really saved my bacon quite a while ago. Also, another thing, if I go then to Multimedia again, <clears throat> where was I? 
I've got a mix installed now, yes, it's going to open, no problem. I've not set it up correctly yet and I've not loaded all my stuff on it. But this, I'm just going to cancel that, I'm going to do that later. This about, how many years ago? About eight years ago, saved a wedding, okay? We got to this wedding in a bis this big country house and music was going, no, I'm not going to play. So luckily I had a puppy laptop up in our room and I've just done it up there. Saved the wedding, no problem. So if you like your mixing, go to Mix. Yes, you can get everything you really want to in Puppy Linux. So we're going to keep this on the system for a little while and play with it, really, on a multi-core system. Now, how many cores do you think are on this one? Come on, go on. I'll let you have a guess. I'll, have a guess. Okay. I'll count to five. One, two, three, four, five. There's more than five cores. So, actually, it'd be easier to just go to console, wouldn't it, really? So if I type in HTOP, oh look, look at all them there. Hello. Actually, still got 32 gig of RAM. I've made an 11 gig swap file. I'm never going to use it ever in a million years for the simple reason I don't need to use it. So, if you want a system that runs really, really quickly on newer hardware, just chuck it on a USB stick and use it with persistence, you'll be really, really pleased. A lot of us do this already for emergencies and actually doing videos. It's really easy to do. Really, really easy. Yeah, so that's the quick one for tonight. Tomorrow I'm going to show you some other stuff. Yeah, other stuff that you can do on this Puppet Linux system. Yeah, and you can't do it anywhere else. Sneaky Linux out. I see those. That's bye. <laughs>